Hi there, John here uh, from Jaguar Land Rover Willow Grove, and today we have a 2021 Range Rover Sport HST. So the HST sits above the HSC and the Range Rover Sport lineup, so it has a couple differences that makes it stand out uh, from the lower HSC. One of which is going to be the body kit. So on the HSC, the body kit here, right down here, and here is going to be a gloss black. Now on this car, you can't tell because the whole entire car is black, but if this was a white car, the, uh, the body kit would be white as well. Another upgrade is going to be these available 22 inch wheels uh, with the red brake calipers. Uh, so these look uh, really cool in this car and it makes it stand out from the rest. All right, next difference is going to be under the hood, uh, 395 horsepower compared to the HSC's standard V6 with 355 horsepower. So it's a little bit faster. All right, moving on inside, we have even more differences here. So check out this interior. This is uh, really nice. This is ivory and ebony. Now these seats have suede along the bolsters in the bottom. The steering wheel is gonna be suede here, which is different from the HSC's leather. Also, you get a suede gear shifter, which is really nice. And then aluminum paddle shifters, which gives it a more premium feel. Right, so let's turn it on. So this car is listed for $92,905. Uh, so it has a couple upgrades here, which I'll go through. So this one has the extended carbon fiber finisher pack. So as you can see, plenty of carbon fiber. It gives the interior a really premium feel. Uh, the climate comfort pack, so that's gonna give you the heated seats. Heated windshield, heated steering wheel we can have too, or heated steering wheel. Uh, heads up display, which if you can make that out, there you go. So this is gonna display some important information. Uh, speed limit, and to the right of that's gonna be your speed. Also when you have the navigation going, it's gonna have the navigation arrows uh, right there for you, so it's real easy to read. And the 22 inch wheels, which are an $1,850 upgrade as well as, ooh, configurable ambient lighting, which everybody loves ambient lighting. So on this, you can change the color. And you can't really make it out, but we have it right here, as well as underneath here. Uh, you can really set the mood to however you're feeling. Let's see. Ooh, this one also has the refrigerator in the center console. That's always nice. Heated steering wheel, which I'm gonna put on here. Uh, and then the digital display, which we can configure it to how we want. Now if we want to, we can have a full map, which is pretty cool. It's a 12 inch map. Uh, you can also configure it to, let's see, layout. We're gonna do one dial. We can have the map on the right hand side. We can have the revs and the speed limit and the speed in the center. And then we'll have uh, our media on the left side, but you can change that. Uh, you can have gas information there if you want, uh, your trips, uh, all that stuff. So, moving here, now you can also have your navigation here, which is where most people are going to put it. Very intuitive. Okay. Now, this one also has the captain's chair, so you get the armrests. We have a giant panoramic sunroof, and this one also opens too. But these seats are really, really nice. Look at these. All right, so let's get to a drive. All right, so touching the suede gear selector, I just feel like I'm, I'm better than most people. Not really. <laughs> this uh, the suede steering wheel feels really, really great. Um, now this one has a metal inlay. You know, this is actual metal, and the feeling, the steering wheel just feels really premium. You feel like you're in something special, which you are. Uh, when you're in a car that costs more than $90,000, you kind of want that feel. And you get it. All the materials, really nice. I got metal. It feels very, it feels very expensive. And that's good, because it is. Right now the car looks sleek. And if 
we wanted to raise it up, we can do that too. If it's snowing, we need more ground clearance. You can just go ahead and raise up your Range Rover. All right, we're off. So even though this is called a sport, uh, the car is really comfortable. And when you go over bumps, it there it's like you barely even you really don't even notice the suspension it being an air suspension is really soft so it's not set up for sport so much as comfort I th which is great the seats are really comfortable I can go on long rides in this car now the engine having 395 horsepower I mean, it's it's quick enough. It's uh, I mean, it's a heavy car, but the engine. I mean, you can merge onto the highways with these, and uh, yeah, you can have a little bit of fun too if you want. I'm not going to. This isn't my car, so even though sometimes I do. And it's great how on the heads-up display you have the speed limit right next to your speed, so you know when you're breaking the rules, and there's really no excuse for getting a ticket in this thing. So, I'm hitting some bumps, barely feel them. It's like these roads are perfect, and we're in Pennsylvania where they're not perfect, but yeah, I don't even notice. And the power delivery is really smooth. The way they set this car up, when you put your foot on the gas and then let off, the car slowly winds down the revs as opposed to right away. So there's no jolting. Uh, it's just a really smooth, comfortable car. But we can put it in dynamic just to see how that is. Now I'm not gonna push this car. This is a brand new car. I don't wanna rev it out or anything. I just wanna give you the gist of it. Now if this was my car, sure, I'd rev it out for you, but I'm not gonna do that. I have the heated steering wheel on, so this is very cozy. Heated steering wheel and heated seats. Doesn't get much better than that. All right, we'll give it a little tiny bit of gas here. See, very smooth. That was, it's got some good pickup. Didn't even feel it. Would you look at that? And the brakes coming to a stop. Fantastic. I can get used to this car. It's a suede, man. It feels so good.